Well, good morning all you lovely people on a very overcast Tuesday morning. Um, it will probably be afternoon by the time you get to see this, being as this is take two because I forgot to turn the fucking microphone on. <laughs> so, anyway, it went off again last night as we expected, but it wasn't as widely spread as it has been. Um, Plymouth being the main one that got the worst of it with pro-illegal and anti-illegal immigration protesters with the police in the middle and again we saw it descend from two separate protests into basically a fucking riot stuff being thrown both sides, from both sides I will say not just from one side, I'm not backing anybody in that. And the police in the middle taking it from both sides because it was all, a lot of it was falling short and hitting them. But then the police literally only faced one lot. They only went and pushed over at one lot, which was when the focus was switch to the police shall I say and let's just say it wasn't the pro immigration that they were picking on so yeah there's a bit of two tier policing again but now you put that against what happened here in Birmingham last night with a certain demographic mob um, running the streets or around the streets in one area and this happens. It was an attack on a pub. Um, obviously, the guy stood outside of the pub was... I couldn't hear what he was saying. But um, no matter what, the others were the other side of a fence and they decided to uh, come in and attack the guy. At which point, all hell broke loose outside the pub. Now, they'd been wandering the streets for some time. But did you see any police there? No. There was no police anywhere fucking near it. And then we have this incident. incidents again both of these no police to be seen there was only one side there there weren't no other weren't no protests or anything from anybody else these were just thugs running around on the streets yep yeah, when anybody else shall I say as a protest or there's a, a large group of people they're faced with this now you tell me 
are the police doing their job? To me, this just points out that there is a protected species. species. I shouldn't say that. That is bang out of order. Um, not a certain demographic of people that are protected and another group that aren't. We've seen this. We've seen groups of them with knives. We've seen groups of them doing all sorts of things in front of the fucking police and the police do nothing. So there you have it. But I'm going to leave that there for today because it's it's just getting over the top now, all this shit. And we'll have a look at the rest of the world, see what's going on. I haven't done that for a long time. Um, as you know, I used to you know, have a look around now and again every week. And uh, first of all, first stop will be California. Now, from what I've heard and one or two reports I've seen, um, anybody flying into California the other day was being tested at the airport. Um, this is all being pushed by the CDC, the Center for Disease Control over there. Um, I initially thought, okay, it's because they've been pushing the old budgie flu that is allegedly about. But apparently it wasn't. This was all about an outbreak of COVID. Hmm. Are they starting that shit again? Well, you fooled millions and millions of people once, but I don't think you'll find they'll be as easily fooled this time. But, allegedly, that's what's going on there. <coughs> and then we've got the uh, the big one, obviously, that's in the news is India. With um, basically the government being run out of the fucking country. Um, they've done one. They've run away. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, the violence and the deaths that have been going on in the protests over there uh, make England look like a fucking picnic, to be honest. Um, the army took over and uh, <coughs> they're looking to install an interim government, apparently. But the people of India have said they will not back and they will not support a government that is installed or supported by the army. So that's going to be ongoing. And um, I, I do believe we can see a lot more visitors, I'll call them, coming over from there. But finally, oh dear, Paris. <laughs> now, I haven't mentioned that since the opening ceremony. Um, the reason being I couldn't give a fucking fuck um, if it's not motorsport of any description then to be honest I'm not really interested I will watch mountain biking but the mountain biking they have at the Olympic is not the sort I'm interested in it's not the downhill but from what I've heard and seen now it's it's nothing and never has been right from the start other than a woke gender fest an eco propaganda event oh, <laughs> it's a green event a pro pro competitors are made to swim in a turd strewn river I mean, there's been clips of them being sick as they're getting out of the water. Some have fallen sick since they've competed in there. I mean, it's a fucking joke, you know. I mean, <laughs> the gender problems. Well, all you got to do is give them a kick in the fucking crutch as they come in. I mean, that will sort out the gender issue. But there again, every competition seems to be about the balls. Oh dear, right from the opening, it's been an absolute farce, and I mean, I, I seriously think that this should be the last Olympics, if it's going to go like this, with the state the world's in now, it just ain't worth it, I, I think it should be laid to rest, <laughs> it's had a good run, but um, that's just my opinion. Right guys, um, there will be a live tomorrow night, 
if anything interesting is kicking off obviously I'll dig into that and be showing you that um, don't know if there'll be a video tomorrow the fatigue's been kicking in quite bad again lately so but it was good to see Dan back on Sunday um, with the PAP live um, how regular it's going to be um, I don't know um, he hasn't said too much but until the next time guys as always stay safe Stay strong and don't fear the fear. Fear is the only thing to fear itself. Stay safe, guys. Respects.